the new city, the new bakery, but the same morning routine. Funny enough, within 40 minutes I managed to prepare myself, leave and arrive 10 minutes before my shift. Like was in London, I used to wake up one hour and a half before my shift. Still feels weird to do everything so fast. Gosh, I feel so sleepy. Uh, this new routine still cannot get used to. Morning. I cannot believe what just happened. I just had the most amazing Uber driver. We were listening to Spacito, Spanish songs. He was singing, asking me to sing along. He just helped me to wake up. It's just amazing. <laughs> I just cannot believe what happened. Before we start completing our mise en place list, let me dedicate some holy time for Mate. This drink does magic when you wanna wake up. It's pure energy booster. My colleague starts half an hour earlier, so she's in charge of baking in the morning. By now, some pastries are already baked and some still proving. However, by the time we open the shop, everything will be done. My work routine always starts by arranging the order sheets, so I give final touches for our pastries and arrange them for the counter. Cheesecake finishing touch is a thin layer of Greek yogurt and fresh raspberries. It is such a simple but beautiful combination. And for the very last touch, we just have some icing sugar on top. Other pastry teammates are preparing this dessert, so what's left to do in the morning is just to sift some icing sugar. Puff pastry sheets were baked and sliced yesterday, so today I just take the amount I need. Quickly whip some cream and prepare the double amount of creme patisserie made earlier. Simply mix those creams and the cream diplomat is done. I begin piping the cream and stacking the layers together. A finishing touch of the icing sugar and transferring on the carton board. This angel cake done if not every day, then every second day, depending on our orders. This one was made yesterday, so I can securely take it out of the mold and give it a touch of icing sugar. And a little bit later today, once all orders are done, angel cake is being mixed and baked. People in Spain go crazy about this cake, especially before the Christmas period. It is a brioche-like sweet bread with a hint of orange blossom. We also do a small version of this cake. Slowly the kitchen is filling with the baked pastry smell and I feel we should do the quality check. Let's clean down and start working on the lamination. As soon as the delivery sheet is completed, I jump on lamination. We begin with babka, flatten down the dough Cut in half and put butter between the dough. Flatten again. I see the dough is not in a perfect rectangle shape, so I cut the ends and meet them inside. I close the dough doing envelope fold. I repeat the same exercise one more time and leave it in the fridge for minimum one hour. Here croissants are done by doing three single folds. So the same as babka, we cut a croissant dough in half and put the butter between. A touch of flour and begin flattering the dough. We cut the ends and put them nicely inside the dough, so we only see nice layers outside. Without any chilling for now, we turn the dough and do exactly the same fold one more time. 
Once it's done, we cover the dough with a plastic film and leave the rest well in the freezer until it's cold enough to do the second turn. When it comes to the second fold, it is not different than the first two. So as before, we cut the dough straight and meet the ends inside. Sometimes it takes quite a few cuts to make a nice even line, but once it's done, we fold the dough for the last time and leave it to chill. We take the chilled and flattened babka's dough and fill with chocolate spread. Then sprinkle with toasted hazelnuts, roll it, cut it and arrange them in a buttered metal rings, so they are ready to bake tomorrow morning. Since I have some other tins out, quickly prepare some other buns for tomorrow's bake. We have an honor to have such a fantastic colleague from Peru who made traditional donuts for our breakfast. Really nicely done! We all have specific role to play in the kitchen, so even though we have more or less allocated jobs, we often jump on one job, but we know that it is going to be finished by another colleague. Very good example is this banana bread preparation. We peel all these bananas, roast them in the oven, and then the another colleague who starts a bit later takes over and continues mixing the butter and baking. To prepare all my ingredients, I begin by bringing up to boil the milk with some sugar. In the meantime, we mix corn flour with the remaining sugar very well and then add eggs. Once the milk has brought to boil, we temper the eggs mixture and finally pour the remaining milk. Put back on the heat and slowly bring to boil and whisk continuously for a couple of minutes. Take off the heat and leave to cool down. We take well rested dough out and pass through the pastry breaks to exact thickness and start working on our cutting. First we measure the width, so I cut it straight in the middle and divide the two whole dough sheet in two parts. Put one on another and start cutting. Then simply cut as even triangles as we can within each separately. We trim the axes and pile them together on one tray, which goes straight into the fridge to rest before shaping. Since I'm cutting croissants, my colleague is preparing the dough for pain chocolat. Just cutting the dough vertically, putting four long pieces together and cutting it. We always start with a pound of chocolate, traditionally putting two chocolate buttons per piece and rolling tightly. Arranging them straight away on the tray and continuing with the croissants. Croissants are also shaped in a traditional manner, but not like in my previous places, we egg wash them twice, now and before baking. Today we are doing a tiny amount of pan rosan, or as people call them here in Spain, caracola. So traditionally spread creme patisserie first, sprinkle soaked raisins, roll tightly and slice instantly. They are ready to go to the fridge and then proofed in the morning. Bread bakers are in charge of panettone production, but my colleague is giving a hand by feeding the lievito madre, then after long process it turns into this special treat. So just before ending my shift, I quickly stop to see the final moments of panettone production. You cannot imagine how much time and how much love the chef spent to produce the spanettone. Pure admiration for a baker job. Mise en place list is done for today. It means we can start cleaning down and since we are the last ones to leave the pastry section today, we clean the floor too. And 
London I used to have a very strict routine I knew every single train what time I take my train and things like that since everything is new here for me either I take a bus or today I'm gonna scooter home you know old habits they don't change yeah so interesting experience I was very quickly educated by uh, taxi drivers which lane I should use and which lane I should not use so funny when I got home I always take a little rest and have mate today me and Alejandro were heading to check one Christmas market in Nuevos Ministerios As soon as we entered the market, I laid my eyes on churro stand. It's quite impressive, the process of frying. The queue to get the churros is like uh, the longest so far I see. <laughs> Let's go and grab some food. Because yeah. we have both cervecitas in alcohol, of course. Sin alcohol, of course. Sin alcohol. Because I heard you wanted to go to bed early today. <laughs> <laughs> Moreover, what I'm sure about that I'm taking the smell of churros home. I am happy we had our dinner here, however, so respecting that I work early in the morning tomorrow, we are heading home. So I just came home and I don't have any desire to do anything else apart of <laughs> my bed. Okay, the shower before, but that's it. No more plans for today. Nada más. If I said nada más, it means nada más. I only set two alarms, second one just in case I fall asleep again. And that is it for today. Thank you for watching and see you next week.